We're not. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. We're trying something new today. It, it just goes. Uh, I, I'm sharing my region of my screen with Jay, and then he's broadcasting. And I forget why we're doing this, but. <laughs> In theory, this will make everything easier because now I'm running OBS, and that means <laughs> Zombie or Iggy, whoever is playing, can just focus on playing while I, uh, while I handle everything else. Yeah. Also, I like, think the bottom of the screen is cut off. Is that is that on your side or mine? Um, that's probably my side. Um, how much is it cut off? Uh, I don't know, by maybe like 50 pixels. Oh, yeah, I can fix that. Whence came this foul tempest? I suppose hey, that's good. Wait, quotes? What's quotes? Oh, from the developers. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, did you wait? Did you change anything? I, I, I stupidly. Oh, there we no, go. There we're, we go. We're good. We're yeah, good. you should be able to see the version number on the bottom right. Oh, yes. That, that's a good indicator. And apparently Specs doesn't hear any audio. I'm sending audio. Audio is definitely happening. Yeah, we are. Uh, this is the first time trying this, so there's bound to be some doofiness. Oh, Ratchet can hear things. Voices. Oh, they hear us. <laughs> Yeah, there should be very loud MIDI music playing. There you go. That was, that was me. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess we can just do the thing. No British. Oh yeah, I can skip this. Ah, loud. So, uh, when last we left... Oh, hey, I did write down where the ship is parked. Good. Alright, give the chest to the people. Oh, shit, where, though? What you're hearing uh, is not static. It's the <laughs> sound of a, of a water wheel and flowing water, because this is, this is old. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because mm, I kind of figured I... that would be the, uh... The next thing to come up like ah. yeah we were, we were testing this earlier and uh ooh, oh yep that's a water wheel sound i should lower the game audio a little bit i got it uh oh you got it okay i, I did have it to lower it earlier but then i had to switch this to virtual cable and i also uh spoiled this for myself because i was testing things, and then uh, I re didn't remember what was in here. See a woman whose cultured manner is tinged with a suggestion of arrogance. She straightens her shoulders and looks you in the eye. I am Eleanor. I am the head counselor of the Fellowship branch here in Minoc. We are a society of spiritual seekers dedicated to achieving our highest potential, advancing worthiness, unity, and trust in our brothers. Ah, but thou dost know all this, I see. I now recall a message Batlin sent to me. I have been expecting thee. Oh, you're the one I'm sending <laughs> the box to. That's good. Thou hast been sent to deliver our package. Thou mayest relinquish it now. Uh, yeah, here you go. You produce the package and hold it before Eleanor. Her eyes shift from you to the package and then back to you. Surely thou hast been instructed not to open the package. Hast thou opened it nonetheless? No, I'm a good little boy. Eleanor takes the package from your hands. Thou hast done very well. Now as promised, here is that payment. Hey, what about the people we're chasing all over? Thou hast just missed them. They were here collecting funds. They have moved on to pause to visit our shelter there. Okay. Uh, anything you want to tell me about what's going on here in Minoc? We should strive to put this business of the murders behind us. Minoc will soon be known throughout Britannia as a city where majestic ships are built. There is even going to be a statue erected in the center of town honoring our shipwright, Owen. 
He is a skilled and valued member of our community, and, of course, a fellowship member. He's a classic example of the fellowship making a vast difference in a person's life. Before he joined the fellowship, he was without confidence and ready to put aside trade. Now he stands on the verge of being recognized as the finest at his craft in the world. Yeah, what about the murders? I'm saddened at the loss of life, but cannot say I'm surprised. Federico and Tanya were antagonistic people. It's good they're dead. The, <laughs> the same may be said of most gypsies. I have nothing against them personally, of course. Uh-huh. Antagonistic, huh? Federico and Tanya treated all members of our fellowship as if we were diseased. Federico particularly would often bully our members. Thou dost know it is common knowledge that we are <laughs> pacifists. He had a reputation for cruelty even among his own people. It is not surprising he came to a violent end. Yeah, most people who are against the fellowship uh, do end up at a violent end, oddly enough. Uh, what can you tell me about the gypsies? They have set up camp southeast of town near the sawmill. That is suspicious, dost thou not think? No. <laughs> Uh, what do you know about Hook? A man with a hook? I'm certain I would remember having seen anyone like that. And I am positive that does not match the description of any fellowship member this branch has ever come in contact with. That's good. What about the ship he's on? Many ships come and go on our busy port. I do not know of any one specific ship. Perhaps, perhaps thou shouldst ask... Perhaps thou shouldst ask Owen. Okay. I have a feeling that we shall see each other again. Uh, okay, let's make a note. We gave the chest. Oh, yeah, so, by the way, uh, if we were to have checked that chest, we would have found a note that uh, gives instructions on how to build something out of black rock. But uh, we're good little avatars, and we didn't just uh, bend the rules of time and space to know that. It's very soothing nitty water. All right, and uh, now we get to see... Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, someone lost their SpaghettiOs. <laughs> someone went oh, all over the place. <laughs> uh, hey, what do you know about this? I must not stop to speak with thee now. I am late for the fellowship meeting at the hall. No time for chatter. I must get to the fellowship meeting. I am late. Don't let me stop you. So, uh, well, that's interesting. There's a candelabra here. And, uh, if you notice. I can see again. Yeah, because he turned it on, then I turned it off. Uh, this is a fellowship candelabra, like this guy's carrying. It has the, uh, the three symbols of unity, worthiness, and truth built into the design. <laughs> no, you can't keep lighting the murder candelabra. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, wait, so these two were killed in the sawmill as a candlestick? Is that where we're going with this? Well, actually, what's this? It's a serpentine dagger. Maybe this is the murder weapon. I'll just yoink that. Uh, but, I mean, this is definitely a fellowship candelabra. And I think there's in town who uh, makes these candelabras, actually. The fellowship meeting is in progress, and Burnside will not speak with you now. Really? Right here? Next to the Muddy Creek? I guess it must be 8 or 9 p.m. I think that's when they have their meeting. Was there a guy just here? He's gone now. That's weird. Anyway, Gypsy Camp's nearby. Let's talk with them. Ah. You see a young Gypsy lad. He is a fellowship medallion. His eyes look down and his expression is one of extreme sorrow. What's your name? My... What's a... What, my, my name is Sasha. I don't know what voice this guy... I'm too young to have a job. I'm a gypsy as my parents were gypsies. I'm also a member of the fellowship. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, parents. My parents, Frederico and Tanya, oh shit, were murdered. I do not know why anyone would want to harm them. The words choke out of the boy. Suddenly he is overwhelmed by grief and is unable to speak for... 
Well, I'll just keep talking then. Uh, what do you know about the Fellowship? The Fellowship is a group that has been gaining much popularity in recent years with the people of Britannia. While on the surface it may simply appear to be a scholarly society studying its particular philosophy, its teachings have the power to forever alter the shape of Britannian society. Its ceremonies are deeply moving experiences. <clears throat> for the past week I've been away from home doing work for the Fellowship. Ugh. Uh, what do you know about the murders? It happened at the sawmill in Minoc. We're, we're in Minoc. <laughs> the Fellowship advances the philosophy of sanguine cognition, a way to apply confident order of thought to one's life through what is called the triad of inner strength. Yeah, we know all this. Unity, trust, worthiness, yada, yada, yada. Dost thou want to join? N no. Oh, <laughs> well, perhaps I can't speak of enlightened another time. Boy, they really got you by the short hairs, huh? Oh, sorry, kid. Uh, oh, actually, I think I need to talk to this person. <laughs> you see a young, bewitching gypsy woman with wise, soul-peering eyes. Margarita at thy service, she speaks slowly. The gypsy woman smiles slightly. To sell, or to tell thy destiny. Yeah, I think I might need a filter on this because it's, it's hard to read these. <laughs> what is my destiny? The fortune will cost thee 20 gold, all right? Oh, that's cheap. Margarita takes your money. The gypsy woman turns into her crystal ball. I see a woman standing by a shrine. She will play an important role in thy life. Hmm, the crystal ball is very murky. Maybe if I had light, it is very dark. I see that thou must join the fellowship if thou wantest to learn more about them and discover their true nature. Way ahead of you. It is not very clear. Ah, yes. There is a new evil that threatens Britannia. I see that thou shalt have to reckon with it in the future. The crystal ball tells me that the ether of the world, the substance that controls magic, has been affected by this new evil presence. Oh, let me, uh, that, that, that's why all the mages are crazy right now. I see further that this evil presence will gain greater power during the event of the near future. This event has something to do with the planets. Seek out a man at the observatory in Moonglow to learn more about this. That sounded like an advertisement. I see that he has a device which will be very useful to thee. See him soon, for this event is drawing near. What is this? I see. I see thou dost seek a man with a hook. He is not the true adversary, but finding him will be necessary to complete thine ultimate quest. Wait! I see that thou must seek audience with the Time Lord. <laughs> That's... Uh, that still gets me. He is in trouble, though I cannot see what that trouble is. His TARDIS is broken. It's no longer bigger on the inside. The Time Lord knows how much about this new of evil, so do not fail to seek him out. To find the Time Lord, thou must first meet the Wisps who live in the forest on you. Oh, of you. You're, you, you talk weird, okay. The, the, thy best link to him, the monks of Empath Abbey will know how to contact the Wisps. The ball has grown dark, I see no more. Margarita looks up at you and says, Thou dost face many dangers ahead, take care. With wise words, uh, with those words, Margarita slips and closes her eyes to rest. She is obviously exhausted. <laughs> Bye. Well, well, go in peace. Cool. Oh, I hate that the inventory and, like, the interface gets dark, too. Okay, uh, we investigated the murders. You know, I need to, like, mark these. Okay, that means complete. <clears throat> <laughs> You're going to add a key to your notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't do a check mark, so... Uh... All right, so we need to... Uh, visit dude in Moonglow about planets. Um... Go to Empath Abbey near you to talk to wisps to get to the time lord i can't do question marks <laughs> the time lord uh and oh yeah something about a woman near a shrine okay that was a good fortune <clears throat> So there's a few things I want to do here in this playthrough today. 
Uh, first is fill out my spell book because this is kind of pathetic. At the very least, get like a light spell. Well, oh, I have a light spell. Never mind. <laughs> uh, and get a secure source of reagents. And also, uh, figure out my inventory situation. Uh, so the interesting thing here is I've got a limit on how much I can carry in terms of weight, right? Mm-hmm. But there's also a limit on how much you can carry in each pack. So I'm probably leering, uh, nearing my limit on this pack. But if I were to pick a sack in here, like this one, this one's holding my reagents. I could put multiple sacks and therefore kind of, or thereby uh, circumvent the limit and carry more stuff than I would normally be able to. So I need like boxes or bags or something. And I also want to go treasure hunting because uh, I remembered something. Hmm. I remembered about a certain treasure near where we started. But first I got a, what is that noise? Crickets? I, I guess. I'm just right, I don't want to pay for a room and I don't even know if I can pay for a room. So uh, I'm just going to take a nap right here if I can find my bedroll. Bedroll? Bedroll. 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 It is a better all right. I literally can't tell. It's too dark. <laughs> yeah. That is a better all. Why can't I use it? Did I put it elsewhere? What does that mean? Is it? Is it in? Uh, what? Where is it? I just. Wait, is that how I use it? Just. <laughs> Has it been so long that I forgot how to sleep? It yes. Is. I sent chains. Ah. Uh. Thank you for watching over me. So, uh, we actually... Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I, oh, I, I almost forgot. Uh, Elizabeth, let's see, I'll just call him E and A, E and A are in pause, which is near where we're going anyway, so that works. Hey, bird. Bird. It's Edge. There he goes. He there he goes. Uh, I gotta go a long way around. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I was gonna mess with some uh, video settings too, let's see. Uh, scalar point interlaced? Oh wait, no, I gotta hit apply, don't I? Oh. Uh. By linear, oh, blurry. By linear plus. Uh, that's also blurry. Uh, two times size. It's less blurry. Super Eagle? Oh, hey, nice. yeah, it's like emulator <laughs> versions. Superus. Oh, that's really good, actually. I think that's a good compromise. I, I can see what's ahead of me now. <laughs> sort of. How do you think we're steering this thing? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's like a Flintstones thing. Like underneath, <laughs> you see their feet kicking. We're just swimming along. That's a good answer. I like that. What I'm here for, 1960s-ish era cartoon references. <laughs> Hi, Briscoe. Nah, Briscoe. Ding. Ding. Whoops, I way overshot. 
Navigating is hard when you can only see like 10 feet in front of you. And yes, I do want to eventually go uh, back to the Island of Fire and finish the test of courage. Because not only <clears throat> does that increase your strength to 30, which is ordinarily the limit, but you can then go to Lord British and they'll be like, oh, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Here, I'll, I'll double your strength. And you can get it up to 60, which is frankly ridiculous. Oh my God, this fucking island. I can't even use the map to navigate around this because it's not on the map. <laughs> I'll be right back. Good luck. I must have food. You'll just have to wait the fuck. Oh my God. We did it! Yay! Uh, I did not know that could happen. I didn't know there were any enemies on the on the open sea. That was crazy. Uh, ooh, how many bolts do we have left? Well, we got a good number. 14? Okay. One of the better items in the game, or one of the better weapons, rather, is the uh, magic throwing axe. Because it acts like a ranged weapon that doesn't use ammo. Okay, I'll just saddle up here. Right. That's so fucking loud. Oh my god, it's so loud! It's so loud! It's so foggy. Where the fuck are we? I can't even see the map. I think north of Trinzic. Actually, I think we parked it east of Paws. Okay. Ship <clears throat> is parked. East of pause. Don't forget. Uh, but we don't want to go to pause. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Oh, yeah, you guys are hungry, Richard. Pop, 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 pop. Very carefully. Don't want anyone to get poisoned. I think it's important that we watch this, actually. <clears throat> yes, Paul asks. I'm Paul, my colleague's name is Marilyn Dustin. Yeah, okay. We perform a passion play about the fellowship. It costs only two gold per person to see. If thou dost want to perform it, please, want us to perform it, please say so. Yeah, okay. Wouldst thou like to see our passion play? Paul takes her gold. We thank thee. If thou wouldst make thyself comfortable, we shall begin. As the actors take their place in Don Mass, you settle down and watch the action. Spark whispers to you, I wish there was a confection of this old candied apples. The music starts the play as Paul takes center stage and addresses the audience. Oh, Welcome boy. to our tale. Oh, dude, did you see the fucking sea serpent? Yeah, I just said that I was leaving. Yeah, <laughs> like literally the instant you left the sea serpent attack. I didn't know it could <laughs> happen. Oh, I think Specs clipped it too. Thank you for that. Welcome to our tale, a tale so true to life, tis a tale of tragedy, a man has lost his wife. But the story need not be bad, when the fellowship is here, the triad of inner strength gives no cause to fear. Dustin takes the stages, Paul moves away, Meryl lies on the ground in front of him and assumes a death-like pose. Tis doom, tis despair, tis death, my beloved wife is gone, disease has taken her away, and left me with but a song. Really? Dustin puts his head in his hands and mimes sobbing. As he sobs, Meryl rises from her death, quote-unquote, in a ghost-like fashion, then addresses Dustin. <clears throat> Mine husband, my love, do not despair, tis now home. Thou shalt rise above all this melancholy and gloom. Who doth speak to me? Could it be she? Or have I indeed gone mad? But who else could it be? 
Mine husband, thou must listen. Thou hast thy comfort within thy grip. Thou must only seek them out, those that can help the fellowship. Merle drifts off stage, leaving Dustin alone. <laughs> the fellowship, she said? But what do I need with it? I have my innate virtues and mine healers. With these, nothing else will fit. Paul enters the stage with Merle, who now wears a different mask. But that is where thou art wrong. The fellowship exists to help thee. The triad of inner strength is here to give thee a sense of unity. Join us now and thou wilt see. Join thy brothers in our plan to promote the tenets of our group. Thou wilt be a better man. At this point, the elaborate mime sequence reveals how Dustin joined the fellowship, receives a medallion from a branch leader portrayed by Paul, and receives congratulations from Merrill. Strive for unity at all times, and trust thy brother through all ill, for worthiness precedes thine own reward. Hark to our words, it surely will. I shall give half my wealth to thee. I shall do thy bidding and then wait. My reward shall come one day and free me from mine awful fate. Dustin Mimes giving Paul some money. Paul exits, then Dustin lies down on the stage and Mimes going to sleep. After a moment, Merrill enters the stage, dances around Dustin's body, sprinkling some kind of sparkling dust on him. Yolo whispers to you, I'm particularly enjoying the visual effects. The script is a little weak, dost thou not think? Merrill leaves the stage and Dustin wakes up. Lo and behold, he finds a bag near his place of sleep. Upon opening it, he finds a bundle of gold. My Lord British, I declare, tis my reward from the air. The voice I heard at night was right. About my wretched life, I will not care. Did that rhyme or did I fuck that up? I can't tell. The voice came to me in a dream. Twas mine inner voice so fair. I now have a companion and provider and a master about whom I care. You are jarred by the actor's choice of words. Companion, provider, and master. You realize you've heard them before. This is really awful. Paul, Paul and Merrill join Dustin on stage, and they all hold hands. Oh, the fellowship can give thee purpose to join us, to join is thine only choice. Commit thyself to our just cause and find thine inner voice. At that point, the actors bow, and you realize it is the end. You give them polite applause. What do they mean about the voice? I'm not sure I understand. It was a confusing play. I did not like it at all. We have wasted our time and money. <laughs> this is the last time I let thee decide how best we entertain ourselves. <laughs> God damn you. Uh, <laughs> well, that was fun. So yes, uh, I think this is the first time this has been brought up, but uh, the, uh, the members of the inner circle of the Brotherhood uh, tend to talk about an inner voice that speaks to them. And uh, interestingly enough, we have an inner voice that speaks to us, too. In fact, yeah. I think he's going to uh, pipe up as soon as I find this hidden treasure. Yeah. Uh, I, have, I have my last can here of Nitro Pepsi. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to open it just because, like, the sound it makes when it opens, it's very different. I don't know if that transmitted. Ooh, no, I didn't hear anything. Oh man, I'm sad now. Damn. Oh, well. it's it's so it's like a it's a very different sounding fizz when it opens. I love the stuff. Yeah. It's really smooth. I actually went looking for that when uh, I went to the store today, but they didn't have any. I think this might be it. I'm kind of zoomed too far out. I can't see. I It's literally like two pixels. Yeah, there it is. Lock chess. Maple tree. Maple tree. I had it. I don't have the key, obviously, but okay. Oh, I see it now. All right. All right. Now the key is nearby. Where nearby? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Oops, let's get my windows in order here. 
Let's see. Well, I had a map open. It's gone now. <laughs> Uh. Why is it so hard to search tabs in Firefox? Well, like there's, a, have... there's like one way to do it, and I, I always forget what it is. When you have like a million tabs open. I do have a million tabs open. That's the problem. I always forget how to search. Damn it, I had this already. How did I fucking lose it already? <laughs> you clipped this is a can opening. <laughs> <laughs> uh I I will say, obviously not sponsored. I, I love this nitrogen infused soda thing. It just it tastes a lot smoother is the only word i've got for it uh because the carbonation it, it uh i don't know it, it doesn't hit as hard as a regular soda so i like it yeah that's kind of why i wanted to try it uh, so it is right here thereabouts I should have made sure it would actually be possible to see this thing before I started, I guess. Mm. Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh yeah, let me open chat up again. Uh... Oh shit, where'd I put chat? Oh shit! <laughs> There's too many tabs! There's too many tabs. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. You could hear it, but I couldn't. Oh shit. Well, thank you. Ah. 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 Oh, I thought the guardian would yell at us, but he didn't. Not this time. Not this time. Look at all this stuff. Take the box. Oh, good idea, actually. Uh, who should wield the box? Oh, um, ring of protection. I say let the kid carry the box and then, then like have the box full of all the money. Because that looks like the stuff's going to get lost the easiest. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's see. Can I actually move this? Move it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Sparks? Why do you have a powder keg? <laughs> no matter. No matter. Oh, you know what? I, I also need uh, to set some options here. I, I want the game to pause when I open up the inventory. Oh. It does. Okay, never mind. Yeah, um, Gumps is what uh, this game calls these things that pop up. I don't know why. Uh, okay, put that in there. N no. It beeped at me. It did. I thought that was me for a second. <laughs> that was a fucking, like, uh, IBM beep. Okay, we'll put the gold in here. Okay, ooh, there's a shield in here. A buckler, that's probably useless now. And let's see, do you have any coin on you? Oh, you got a magic shield. That's cool. Uh, literally everyone is using two-handed weapons, though, so that's uh, it's actually kind of garbage. Oh, more gold. There we go. Okay. All right, so now... The kid can put the chest in his... Oh, it's too heavy? Really? Uh -huh. Damn. Damn, kid. Maybe it looks bad. 
<laughs> yeah, he does have a low carrying weight. Well, you know, that's another thing I need to do, actually, is uh, get these guys trained up. Oh, there's the deed for the ship. That actually might be important. I don't know. Uh, can you carry it? Won't fit. Won't fit. Come on. Give me a break. Okay. All right. Maybe chest is too big. Now, if we can get some sacks, that might work. But in the meantime, let's just transfer all this gold. I'm guessing there's there... no way to make a single stack of it. Uh, no, it'll only go to a hundred, which again is why extra sacks and bottles and shit are so important. But I guess chests are just too big. <laughs> sacks. Well, hi, small god. How you hey, doing? Jenny. Uh, okay, so let's get everyone's. I'm already pretty well decked out. Yeah, we also, yeah, okay, so I, as I was saying, we need to get these guys trained up, and I think the best way to do that is to go to Jalom, which has some good trainers, and also another companion that will be handy for us. I kind of want to keep the swamp boots on me because it's annoying. Why did they go away? There we go. Uh, keep the kid protected, I guess. It was stop putting it in his inventory. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the game is old. It doesn't work right. <laughs> uh, Jenny says that they fucking love your voice. Why? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Oh, hey, a fire sword. Uh, if Spark uses that, he can use shield. And also, yeah, I need to be grabbing, like, extra stuff here for our future companion, hopefully. Uh, that won't fit. Are these bolts? Yeah, these are bolts. Iolo, guess what I found? There you go. That's just a standard crossbow, I believe. What's this? That's a... Oh, a sword of defense. Oh, I almost forgot about the rings, too. Holy shit. What's this? That's a two-handed? Ah, oh, fuck that. No way. Yeah, sword of defense. That way it's like you're wearing a shield, but you're not. Which means you can wear a shield, which is even better. Uh, swamp boots, extra boots, hell yeah. Uh, 200 sword. Is that everything? Oh yeah, the, oh, the rings. The rings. You can have the ring of protection. Did you equip that? No. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe it's either gloves or ring. There we go. Ring of Protection. Ring of Regeneration. That would also be... <laughs> I can do that too, can I? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll give Spark the uh, Ring of Invisibility. Oh, wow, he's gone. Cool. All right, <laughs> and that leaves us some extra equipment for, I think it's either Dupre or Shimino, who lives down in, uh, down there. All right, cool. All right, that's one treasure uh, trove down. Let's uh, let's stop by pause and see where Elizabeth and Abraham have gotten to next time. Because spoiler alert, we're never going to catch up with them until the very end. And then we'll go to Britain, and then we'll maybe get some reagents, and then we'll go to uh, treasure trove number two. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jay, were you there for the uh, Super Mario Brothers OVA we watched? Yes. Yes, that was that was so crazy. So, uh, if you didn't know, this is this is apparently not well known. This is very obscure, but um, Nintendo, I assume, I, I guess, like contracted this. Uh, they made they made like a little one hour animated movie about Super Mario Brothers. But oh shit, we're being attacked! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> they made a Super Mario Brothers movie. Um, 
Uh, but the, I mean, this is literally in 1986. This is literally like a year after the first game came out. So there isn't really any characterization. Hello. Polly smiles. What can I do for thee, my lord? Uh, I know you're Polly. It's a pleasure to meet thee. What's your job? I'm the owner proprietor of the Salty Dog, the finest eating and drinking establishment in all of Paws, which is like three buildings at thy service. However, the Salty Dog is now closed. Please return later. Oh, okay. Uh, it's good food, whatever. Okay, I was just seeing if you knew about Elizabeth and Abraham. Anyway, um, so it's it starts off like like really good. Like the, the animation is really good, and, and it's like okay, Mario is playing like a video game on a Famicom. It's like, a, it's like a kid with a baseball bat or something. It doesn't matter. But anyway, th then then the game glitches, and then he sees Peach being chased by Bowser or King Cooper, whatever. And he's like, oh, no, I can save her. And then, of course, like, they come out of the TV like everything did back in the 80s. This man yeah. has no legs. TVs were a magic portal. This man has no legs. How are you walking? What are you... What's happening? What? You see a beggar. You cannot tell from the look on his face whether he's about to laugh or cry. Uh, I, was, I don't, I don't want to hear your story. I just want to give you money. <laughs> How is he doing that? He's animated like he's on a wheelchair, but he's not. He's just floating. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, so... He wakes Luigi up in all this commotion because eventually Bowser like grabs her and returns back into the TV and he doesn't he can't do anything about it. Oh yes, 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 you Yeah, uh this was uh was a neat little uh hour long thing. Here's the weird part. So like they go it's like the next day and and if they run like a grocery store in some weird desert town and luigi is wearing like blue and yellow overalls for some reason like i mean he's green in the game right it's weird and uh he he finds like this necklace that peach dropped and there's this dog that comes by and and and, and so luigi is characterized as like this guy who's like after wealth He's like, oh, they, she, you, you, you say Bowser took her to the Mushroom Kingdom? You mean the fabled Mushroom Kingdom that's like full of riches and treasure? Oh shit, let's go. And he gets a pack with like a pick and a shovel and it's, it's really weird. It's like, yeah, these you, you know these characters, but they're not properly set up yet. And it's like, okay, Super Mario, is, what, what do you do in the game? You You get coins, right? There's coins everywhere, so it's like, oh, yes, but the Mushroom Kingdom is a land of treasure, and Luigi is like, holy shit, there's coins everywhere, there's just so much coins, you know, you you, you hit a pi uh, rock with a pick and coins come out, and yeah, it's, it's really strange, It's I kind of like it, and then it gets kind of like, you can tell the budget runs out at some point. <laughs> You see a small man with a twisted slope posture. He looks up and down before deciding if he will speak to you. I had gotten word that thou art coming to our town. I've been expecting thee. I must admit, though, that I find it difficult to believe that thou art truly the Avatar. Okay, where's Elizabeth and Abraham? I'm so sorry. Thou hast just missed them. Elizabeth and Abraham were here delivering funds, but they have gone now to Jal Oh, that's where I'm going, actually. Jalom. There's currently a fellowship branch, no, uh, no fellowship branch there, so, uh, they are taking the tribe of inner strength to lands west. Okay, that's, that's all I need now. All right, uh... Uh, hmm. Oh, but we're not going there just yet. Oh, no, I, I have something special planned. Being <laughs> easy. Yeah. Here's the crazy part, though, is that there are a lot of things that you would only see in later games that kind of pop up. Like, there's this scene where uh, there's this whole long, bizarre sequence where Mario goes underwater to find one of the, the three power-ups of justice or whatever. And he finds, oops, he finds a, uh, a sunken ship. And... 
I forget what happens exactly. It's it's weird. Like he's like blowing on the sails to make it go, but he's underwater. But it's like, oh, because it's like the game. You can just be underwater as long as you want. But anyway, he blows on the sails to make the ship move. And then it just gets out of the water and then it just keeps rising because it's it's an airship. But it doesn't. I mean, it's just a ship, but it looks like it, it you know, it acts like an airship. It's strange. And then, and then later, like he uh, twirls Bowser around by his tail, like he does in Mario sixty four. Like they had all these ideas, they just didn't actually use them yet. All right, we gotta find what's his name, the mage, and get some reagents. Actually, I need to take a look here and see what we actually have. Okay, we got ten nightshade, ten mandrake, three garlics. Three ginseng, three spider silk, ten blood moss, ten black pearls, and ten sulfur sash. So we need spider silk, ginseng, and garlic, plus, I guess, a bunch of everything else. Oh, yeah, here's the arsenal. Oh, yeah, so I was uh, I was telling somebody this, uh, played Specs and Grunt, maybe Jay. Um, this, is, this is the arsenal. Like all that cool stuff we found in the hidden chest. Oh no, that's nothing. This is this is the true arsenal, because uh, these dirty diapers, if you use these on anybody, they will run away in fear. Well, except apparently her. I guess she's running in fear. I can't tell. Anyway, you can use literally every anybody, including like dragons and shit, and they will like run in terror and let you just attack them uh, without uh, <laughs> repercussions. <laughs> And uh, you can you can make more too. So we got a clean diaper here. Let's just use this on uh, a baby here in, in a crate. Those are for babies. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's a baby in a cradle, not a baby baby. Okay. Well, never mind then. But uh, there is a baby as part of a quest that you can rescue and just keep in your pack. And uh, every time you find clean diapers, you can just use them on the baby, and it will generate a dir dirty diaper for uh, use later on as a weapon. And I don't know where I'm... Oh, there you are. <laughs> Through the solid brick wall, you see your old friend Nistool, now a decrepit old man in rageous robes. Well, I used to perform quite a bit of magic. At least I think I used to, etc., etc. Uh, can I buy stuff from you? Sometimes the magic works, sometimes it doth not. Whoops. Uh, okay, reagents, here we go. Does thou wish to buy reagents? Yes, what reagents without luck to buy? Ginseng. Oh, four gold. Uh, how many can I? 20, oh, you know what? Let's get like 10 of everything. Okay, let's, uh, I already got gin. Okay, so blood moss. I mean, we got money. We might as well use it. Exactly. Sulfur sash. Doesn't look like he sells everything, though. Eight gold. Ooh, 80. Oh, no. Mandrake roots. Ooh, it's getting more expensive. And Black Pearl. Ten. There we go. <clears throat> no. Uh, goodbye. Are we going somewhere? Mmm, you're so close, but I already killed you once. Let's see how much we have. 361 left. Ooh, actually, that took quite a bit. Oh, well. That's pretty much the only thing we need to buy. We can find food on the road. Plenty of uh, arms and armor later on. la ba da ba da ba 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 la ba 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 So, uh, where, where do you think the name Lord Birch came from, anyway? Uh, I think that was just the name of his D&D &D character. Well, yeah, but I mean... I don't know, that, that just seems like something a little kid would name an important person. 
like someone who doesn't actually know how the monarch works or anything. Hey, a fox. Maybe it'll lead us to treasure. But then it's like you know, at some point, you know, you get older and you realize, well, Lord British is kind of a stupid name. So maybe you should come up with something else. And there we go. Because I found out why. Oh, yeah. So Richard Gary acquired the nickname of British as a teenager from friends at computer camp. Computer <laughs> camp is still a thing who claimed his greeting to them. Hello was distinct from the usual American hi. Lord Tiger oh. was later added when he played as a D and when he made British into a, a D and D character. Well, that's interesting. Well, there's a reason. <laughs> so we're just kind of going along this little rock face. There's uh wait a minute. Hey, what's this? Oh no, rats! Oh, you found it. Yeah. But first, what's in here? Oh, God. Oh. The rat cave. Uh, and the rat cave. Yeah, I think this is... Oh. There's a lot of fire here, so we're just gonna nope out of here, and... Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, get on our little carpet here, and... Uh, Wow. 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 Then you get shot out of the sky. Look at me! I'm so much better than you now! <laughs> also, also, I'm dying of poison. Don't worry about it. Well, that should make getting around easier, quote unquote. The fuck? Hey, it's the voice in our head. He thinks she looks funny too. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think what I want is down south here. Is there anything interesting here? I doth feel better. Well, yeah, but okay, whatever. I think this is Jalom. Jalom, Jalom, Yalom, Yalom, Yalom. Making back. It is extraordinarily difficult to park this thing. I, I think if I'd done like one tile south, I would have landed on this weed and been like, nope, can't do it. <laughs> And you can't see like like what's directly below you because you're like up and to the left of wherever you are. Uh, I haven't saved in a while. And before I forget, uh, Oh. Okay. <laughs> What's in here? Hey, a box. Hey, a, a straight pixel. What's that? It's a mountain. <laughs> pixel mountain. Hammer. That pan wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That's a fucking triple crossbow. That's like one of the best weapons in the game. Hey, YOLO, guess what you're using from now on? <laughs> nice. Wow, I, I actually had no idea this was here. I'm just checking stuff out. Uh, let's actually see if we uh, can get Sparks to carry this. 
too heavy. Damn it. Yeah, it's got to be sex, I guess. Okay. Spex is saying... Samples. Oh, yep. good. That the pan flute sample was everywhere in the 90s. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, it's the sound of the era, or rather the sound of sound blaster of the era, I guess. When do we eat? When I can see you. Belch. Actually, I haven't taken a look at our food reserves in a while. <laughs> that might be a problem. Kitty! Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, it hates me. Oh, the... The... When world music was a genre. Oh. Barkeep. A pretty woman gives you a friendly grin and then coyly turns her eyes away from you. Uh, my name is Ophelia, my lord. I'm a barmaid. I do the work at the bunken stool here in Jalom. Bunken stool? It's been said that indeed many strange things happen at this bar, as of late, in addition to being an inn and a pub, where thou mayst buy fine food and drink, by the way, it has become a betting parlor. Oh, really? Uh... I am taking wagers on Sprelix duels. Wouldst thou like to place a bet? No. Then if thou wouldst like to bet against Sprelix, thou mayest see Daphne, but I warn thee, thou wilt be throwing thy money away. Cool. Bye. Okay, so I think what's going on here, if I remember correctly, is there is sort of a fighter's guild in town, and this guy Sprelik, uh accidentally took down the flag uh, of the place and claims to have lost it, and that's like the worst insult you can make to this place. So everyone is like, okay, well, you're going to have to fight us now to regain your honor. And he's just like a twerp, so he, he's, he's doomed to, to die if he fights these people. So it's a, it's a quest you can do. It's, you know, th this, is, this is an old game, so it, it's a quest that you do not for, like, any kind of reward, but just to like, see the story, I guess. Yeah. Uh, wasn't Dupre in that building? Oh, was he? Uh, he might have been, yeah. You know what? Dupre's a guy who likes his beer so let's see fighter <laughs> you're not a buddy Hold still. <laughs> hey Dupre there he is cool ah. you see a familiar face of your good friend Dupre while somewhat older he still seems full of his usual good humor hey, what's your name <laughs> Why, dost thou not recognize me? It is I, Lord British, she laughs. Thou not know thy friend Dupre when thou seest him? Uh, do not be so modest, Sir Dupre. Thou shouldst tell the avatar, avatar that thou hast been knighted since last you met. Boy, reading's hard. It is. Sir, Sir Dupre looks quite embarrassed. Well, yes, I would have gotten around to that. <laughs> Which a jab. I've not seen our old friend in some time. Kurt Lamb conducting a study of all the various drinking establishments of Britannia. I told you he likes his beer. At present, I'm about halfway through, but it is nothing that could keep me away from adventuring with thee. You want to be your friends? Our old friends, Yolo and Shimino. Where's Shimino anyway? Let us go and find Shimino and make this a proper reunion. Yeah, where, where is he? I actually don't know where he is. Uh, yeah, get in here. It would be both an honor and a pleasure to join the all-night adventures once again. <laughs> uh, what do you got to say about Iolo? There's a strange old man following me, and he bears a vague resemblance to Iolo. It is most odd. <laughs> my drinking must have blurred thy vision, Sir Dupre. Uh... Then thou hadst better join me one later. I will give thee the chance to catch up to me. <laughs> uh, oh, Dupre. Yeah, now we got another, you know, we got another man in our group here. Let's see. What the Sh Shamina is back in Britain. Oh, is he? Did I totally miss him? Oh, well. In that case, we'll have to check up on him later. Oh, no, but he's going to wear my dungarees. I'll just stick him here. He wants some swamp boots. There you go, buddy. 
Oh, I've got so much garbage in here. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a sack just for all the fucking keys I get. Can you just buy a sack from like a provision shop? You know, I probably can come to think of it. Let me see where a, a shop is near you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna one Jalom here. It's funny, I just had Jalom up on the interactive map and now not so much. It's uh down in the southwest. Yep, found it. Oh, this looks like a provisioner. You see a battle-scarred old soldier. I am Clifton. I day I was a pretty damn good soldier. Now I'm the master of the armor here in Jellum. 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 Well, your stuff looks like garbage, so never mind. Yeah. Um, for those in chat, uh, this is what the interactive map looks like. It's pretty much just screen for screen the game, but now it's got the Google Maps style zoom in, zoom out functions. It makes the game look very small until you realize that you can see like two feet in front of you normally. Well, this is a silly place with nobody in it. Oh no! Oh no, the game it crashed. crashed. It crashed on me again. There we go. Well, it's a good thing I saved just uh, immediately prior to this. Damn, I was hoping, I mean, this, this program has been around for like 20 years. I was hoping it would be like a little more stable by now, but oh well. You have a Skylink shirt? Oh wait, yeah, you told me that. All right, we gotta get that triple crossbow again. Wait, whoa, whoa, hey, you're, you're new. To the death. Uh, these, these random dudes are surprisingly tough. What's happening? Oh, yes, yeah, the three, three Skylink's moon. I think you mentioned that before. Well, that was interesting. good doing good how are you doing how you doing boo our innocent perfect child is safe thanks to a ring of invisibility that triple crossbow better still be in here okay good we're not in a totally different timeline oh. yeah we go <laughs> I'm doing great, just doing a little murder, apparently. Uh, damn, it didn't save my notes either. Fuck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Our pitch is e uh, west of Chelum. <laughs> oh, a little early for 420, huh? Well, I feel you. Uh, I can't see anything with all this text. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not seeing all friends. Okay, join. Okay, bye. La 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 la
Quick save. I gotta figure out what the quick save button is. I don't know what it is. Uh, hey, that's from when we were in the horrible cave that we don't want to talk about anymore. Let me pull up the documentation. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what do you got as a weapon? That's it? A sword? You're a fucking knight and you, that, that's what they gave you? You're, you're, you're a hero of legend. You've been alive for hundreds of years for a reason that no one seems to question. There we go, keyboard commands. Apparently, it's just Control S. Oh, it is. Thank you. And Control R to reload. Let's try not to press that. <laughs> Why? You see a man who exudes the outward mannerisms of a shrewd administrator in contrast to his youthful appearance. My name is Joseph. Presently, I'm the mayor of Jalam. All right, have you seen these two? Elizabeth and Abraham? Joseph scratches his head. Oh, yes, they were the fellowship members who were just here. They were trying to start a branch in Jalam. I'm just undecided on what to tell them. We will probably have a town meeting to decide if there should be a branch here. The call said they were returning to Britain for a few days. Grown. On the artist page, I got the shirt from the print on the hoodies. Oh, that'd be cool. Get a Skylinks hoodie, a three Skylinks and Moon hoodie. Um, yeah. Enjoy stay in my city, but if thou hast no stomach for fighting, thou shouldst not stay long. Probably just going through the Elizabeth and Abraham arc. Although, actually. Now that we got the carpet, uh, I might go up to you and say hi. Oh, yeah. No, okay. I, oh, oh God, that would be a disaster if I did that. Uh, the, the help spell is free. Uh, it'll take you back to Lord British, who will heal and resurrect any dead members. But uh, that's bad because then, then the uh, the magic carpet would be stuck here. Uh, the ship would be back wherever I parked it, and I actually don't know how you get to these other islands except for buying a ship, hmm. which is kind of pricey. Well, you should head back to British anyway for the heel in the Grab Shimino. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I was like, Dupre, you can sit up front. I forgot that uh, Spark was there. Hello? I don't think I can have enough room to land here. I do not believe we can land here safely. There's I'm a glad skeleton. a different person tells me every time. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yes, yes! Nice. Ah, it's loud. It is. Yes, the skeleton key. And, oh, garlic. Hey, garlic. No, I don't want to eat it. Hey, garlic. What's this? A ring. fucking windy in here get the fuck out okay i don't care about anything else all right so the skeleton key i think uh is a key that opens stuff that don't have keys <laughs> if that makes any sense basically anything you would use like a lockpick on uh can be open with this oh what's this sulfurous ash i don't need that i bought some what the fuck are we oh yeah we're way away okay yeah, you're by Trinzic. Are we being attacked?
Why does it? Why is it making the Friday the Thirteenth sound? <laughs> that's the uh, you're being attacked noise. Oh, the moo cows. <laughs> oh yeah, food. I should, I should probably buy food. I should probably guess food. Oh, I should have hunted that deer down there. Oh well. Okay, here's the big question. Where's Shimino? Um, head to the south of Britain. I'm just gonna part this real quick and talk to Lord British and get healed real quick. Yeah. Pickles. Is he in here? Nope. Is he? <laughs> yes. Uh, what's your job? Uh, Britannia. I don't know how to get him to heal me. <laughs> Almost never. Well, things are indeed fine. There's the people I'm concerned about. There's something wrong in Britannia. Yeah, it's you talking too much instead of healing me. Uh, yes, there's been recommended decades since the last this was this bunch of jobs. Lose for so it's only as tired comes to damn nursery. I will not go near the place. Kings and dirty diapers do not mix. The great council talked me into implementing the nursery after several of the staff started having families. Although it was probably a necessity, I shall pretend it does not exist. Uh, that must be Yellow Shaman Dupre, of course. Yeah, we're Shimino. That rascal does not come around very often, though I understand he spends most of his time in Britain these days. That doesn't help me. Uh, uh, homeland, Earth, uh, Fellowship. Wait, Aid. Do not forget, Avatar, that I have the power to heal thee. Yeah, it just takes a lot of work. That is one bit of magic that seems to still work for me, and I could probably provide thee with some equipment. A spell book. You already did that. Heal. I can still heal, cure, poison, and sometimes resurrect. Art thou in need of one of these? Yes. Of which? Oh my God. Do I get to through all this? Okay. Uh, you know, he's badly wounded. Of course, it will never cost thee anything to use mine healing services. Thy wounds have been healed. Okay, uh... Who are you? That's... Uh... I forgot who this is. Century, that's alright. Ta-da! Alright, cool. Done. Oh, I just remembered I was gonna do training in Jalam, wasn't I? Oh, well. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I could I could guide you to the Shimino. Um, All right. Basically, from the castle, go straight down until you can't anymore. Okay, th this building right here on your left. Bah. And above you. Beer! Could you use a drink? Yeah, he should be in here somewhere. Your old friend Shimino stands before you and you marvel that he has finally progressed into what some might call middle age. Oh. Your friend looks at you like you've lost your head. Just Shimino! Shimino! Actually, I'd love to know how you actually pronounce that. I should hope twould be adventuring with thee. I am weary of loitering around Britain. There is much we could be accomplishing. Where hast thou been anyway? But please tell me what brings thee here. Murder. Shamina listens as you tell him the story. I would be honored to join and help thee investigating this matter. Uh, accomplishing. Well, I do not know if thou art aware, but we are having many problems with magic in general, and with the moon gates. Oh yeah, apparently the moon gates do work, they just hurt you sometimes, they go in a circle. I guess that's another way to get around, if you don't have yeah. a ship. Oh uh, yeah, get in here. Shemina looks relieved. I'm so glad thou didst ask me that. He gathers his gear and prepares to follow you. Cool. Oops, uh, oops, 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 oh yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I, I've got a sword, Avatar. I'm all set for life. I have a meat and a cup. I'm ready to go adventuring. Cool. Uh, there's a trainer here in Britain. Cool. You're right next to him. Who 
cool. He's going with the double shield build. <laughs> that sword's on his back, I realize. Oh, you know what? I thought that looked weird. Two handed sword, isn't it? Uh, I guess he's just left handed. Okay. <laughs> or that. Yeah, um. Go Fresh up. Pastries. Up, 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 up. Make a left. No, like. You, no, 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 no. You, you, were on, you were on the right road. <laughs> just go down here. Yeah. Okay, uh, not this door. <laughs> Go down. Hmm. That door in the, the set away in the middle there. Let's see. All right. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, training seven. Spark's got, tw oh yeah, Spark levels up real quick because he's a little brat. All right. So me, Spark, YOLO, and Sentry, and these two haven't done anything, so okay. You see a healer. Uh I don't goodbye. Uh it says trainer. That's a provi hey, a provisioner. Uh, I better save my money for the training, though. How about you? Hey, a fighter with intense eyes and a serious disposition. I am Denby. I am a trainer. I specialize in a form of combat which relies on one's ability to use intelligence and physical ability to activate minor magical effects. But I am not a mage. I am a fighter. Kind of magical effects. For example, I simply teach a combination of physical and mental exercises which increases one's intelligence. This in turn gives one an advantage if one desires to practice magic. Thou shouldst be aware, however, that magic is not working in Britannia these days, which means I'm kind of useless. It is a dying phenomenon. No one understands why. Nevertheless, my training should increase any magic user's primary chances for casting a spell, as well as their fighting skill. Uh, well, I don't think I actually want to use this guy because I'm the only magic caster and I'm pretty much kitted out as far as intelligence goes. I could use more hit points. Yeah, the, the, big, the big thing we're looking at right here is combat, which is your ability to actually hit in combat. And your hit points. So I could use that. Yellow could use that. But I don't think I actually want to train with this guy. In which okay. case... Oh, uh, that's right. I need to look for Elizabeth and Abraham here. In case something happens and I forget. Let's see. This looks like an inn. Or I guess I could check at the Fellowship uh, branch here. You see a sour-faced innkeeper who looks at you as if all his problems were your fault. My name is James. I'm the proprietor of the inn. It's just another way of saying that I'm the man who is the death clerk, which thou mayest think is an easy job, although it's not, I can assure thee. When one is an innkeeper, one must run around all day long. If anyone wants anything, thou art the one who must take care of it for them. I spend so much time running around that I've gotten a bad foot. Of course, being desk clerk is not all I do. I must spend all day listening to people talk about their problems <laughs> as if I'm supposed to solve them. <laughs> That's correct, my lord. So if thou hast a problem, allow me the courtesy of not having to hear about it. Now, what was it I was saying anyway? 
Maybe solving uh, people's problems is an easy task for other innkeepers, but not only am I bad at it, I have my own problems as well. I do not like my job. I never wanted to be an innkeeper. I just wanted to keep the place going after my father passed on. Now that I am married to Cynthia, I am more tied down than ever. Do not mistake my words, my lord. I love Cynthia with all my heart, but there are times I feel I am too young to be married. Besides, I know I cannot be a good husband for her. How can I make Cynthia happy on the pittance an innkeeper makes when all day long she is counting all that money in the mint? I know I cannot. I know the matter of the heart, my good friend. After being exposed to such large sums of money, she shall begin to covet it. As I cannot provide it, she shall ask me to give her her heart to winking me. But he can wink me. me to make my brain boil. Uh, and it has deteriorated into nonsense. You shall just come back again wanting something else from me. I just know it. All right. Well, that's okay. It's... <laughs> you, you, wait, <laughs> come back. I have to double click you. It's hard. You see a cute looking woman who beams with a huge smile. I notice he's looking at her from behind a corner. Okay. My name is Millie. She giggles coyly. <laughs> it's Coily the Spring Spray. I, I suppose I have no job, but is that really so bad? I'm a member of the Fellowship, and I talk to people about them all day long. Uh, you just don't know what the Fellowship is? Yeah. Uh, I think thou dost not really know. Oh, my God. The Fellowship is a wonderful organization that is open to all the people of Britannia. Yeah, I'm a member. I have learned so much through studying its philosophy... And it has helped me to live my life to the fullest. Through the fellowship, I am able to achieve what I have set out to do with life, and I'm a better person for having joined. So that's all you do is talk? I spend all my time trying to recruit, uh, spread the word of the fellowship. It is better than having a job. I learned how to do this at the meditation retreat. Oh, the meditation retreat, you say? is located on an island in South Britannia near Serpent's Hold. Most new fellowship members spend some time down there learning the tenets of the group. One can also learn to hear the voice at the retreat. The voice. Fellowship members have an inner voice which speaks to them. I have not heard it yet, but I'm working toward it. I may, to spend, I may need to spend another few days at the meditation retreat in order to do so. Batlin tells me not to be discouraged, though. He says I will hear it when I have made myself worthy. I shall see thee later, maybe even at tonight's fellowship meeting, which I actually need to go to because uh, I got to find out where E and A have gone to next. Oh, boy, these are long blocks, huh? Yeah. When when <gasps> when, when you when you said worthy, it cut off at it, like... I heard work. <laughs> oh, it does cut. Oh, that's her. Sturdy looking farmer's wife. Uh, I can't have food. I just gotta find a deer. Oops. Help! Why did the door close behind me? No, stop it. Help. It is, it, it's actually really hard to control this game. It looks it. It, it, it controls like any like modern action RPG, but you're limited to eight directions, and you got to go like way out to the end of the screen to go at full speed. Luscious bread, bread fit for a king, fresh pastries. Luscious bread. Oh yeah, so um, I, I mentioned earlier, uh, a couple streams ago, that you can bake your own bread, right? Yeah. So to do that, you need uh. A bag of flour, which, you know, you find on the ground, like in a bakery, and then a bucket full of water. The thing is, uh, the uh, the game doesn't really care what's in the bucket, as long as it has a flag that says it's, you know, full of something. So you can make bread with buckets of blood, and it just works. Delicious blood bread. Blood bread. I need to steal these stones. But 
there's somebody here. Kills him. Actually, actually, it's a moot point because I, I need the mark and recall spell for this to work right, and I don't have that. Actually, I'm actually not sure what he spells. Like maybe Rudium over by Cove would have some. But anyway, uh, I am looking for Fellowship Hall, not the museum. There we go. Oh, my dear, dear friend, how wonderful to see thee again, says Batlin. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right, deliver the package. Congratulations, Avatar, and our thanks to thee for successfully delivering our package to Eleanor of Minoc. Now we have another task at hand before thou canst... Oh, I'm not actually... I thought I was a member, I guess I'm not. Before thou canst join this ship, because thou didst deliver the package, thou hast proven thyself worthy of performing another mission. Uh-huh. Thou shalt vision... <laughs> thou shalt visit the dungeon of Destard, which is in the mountains just west of Trinsic. Do not worry, it is completely deserted. <laughs> <laughs> then thou uh, shalt find a chest of fellowship funds, which was hidden for safekeeping just a few days ago. Thou wilt know the chest because it will contain not only gold, but two fellowship medallions. The site is also most likely marked with the fellowship staff. Bring these funds back to us without losing a single coin and thou wilt have successfully completed thy mission. No need to bring the chest, just the gold. Now thou must be on thy way. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, where are they this time? Batlin smiles and shakes his head. Oh, you stupid fool, you'll never catch them. Thou art not having much luck tracking them down, art thou? They were here, having done some work in Jalom. And, but now they've gone to Vesper to see about starting a match there. It's amazing, like... I'm spending, like, an hour going to each place, and they're always gone. It's amazing. What do you know about the meditation retreat? It is the retreat for the pressures and distractions of everyday life, where new members of the Fellowship may go and study the philosophies of the Fellowship. It is located on an island east of the Serpent's Hall. Okay, I already knew that. What's the voice? Once a person has walked with the Fellowship long enough and applied the triad of inner strength to his life, he has cleared his mind of all conflicting counterproductive counterproductive thoughts to the point where he may actually hear his internal voice of reason. This voice of reason is the core of thine inner voice, which guides thee through pure instinct. It's your own voice. It's not a creepy red muppet talking to you. It's okay wisdom and irreproachable logic once one starts to listen to it and follow its guidance one has achieved the height of enlightenment perhaps thou shalt hear it one day oh perhaps i already have okay goodbye what do we meet again okay um Esper. and then just in the start west of Trinsic. Uh, what's funny um, is because of Spoonie's review, I know it's in Destard. <laughs> I actually don't remember what he said about us, but I do know that it's not deserted. <laughs> and, uh, almost lost the carpet again. Did you know that there were three actual physical books published for Ultima Online 2, which was canceled? Really? Like, like, you mean you're, you're talking like like novel books or yeah. like game guides? Oh, wow. Novels. I don't know that. I remember being really excited about it. Or maybe it was Ultima 10. Was Ultima 10 supposed to be online too? I, I, how that I don't know. We... Uh, but going back to what you're doing, you should probably train before you attempt Destard. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll uh, go back to Jalom and uh, see what I can do. I'm also looking for deer. I need those delicious, delicious five legs. 
Oh yeah. I forget. Uh, did I tell the story about um, Ultima Online and how it split into two realms? Hey, go away. Well, I clicked on him because he's fucking invisible. <laughs> um, I don't think he did. No. Oh, um. These days, and for many, many years, uh, Ultima Online has been split into two realms uh, named after the moons, Pollution and Secunda or something, I forget, uh, that are basically PvP and non-PvP. So when the game first came out, it was PvP only. So anyone could fuck you up at any time and you have no real recourse in it except to be better at them or than them at the game. Uh, now, obviously, this wasn't very popular with a lot of people because, you know, other players, especially ones that are high level, can be, you know, absolute dickwads. So they decided to you know, do that, to, to split the, uh, the game into two halves. And to justify this, they, uh, Origin Systems, or EA, or whatever you want to call them, decided to have an in-game event where the world would be, like, invaded by demons. And uh, Lord British and Lord Blackthorn would have differing ideas. Lord Blackthorn is kind of like the, uh, what's the word? He was the main villain of Ultima 5, but he kind of became like sort of... Yeah, I mean, he was Lord British's friend to begin with. But he's kind of a... Um, God damn it, what a word. It's, 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 a, it's a political view where it's like uh, everyone is their own person and they don't want to have to rely on the government for anything. So, so it was Lord Blackthorn's idea that's like, no, no, everyone needs to be able to um, kill each other if they want to. And Lord British is like, no, no, my, my people need to be safe from each other. We need to have laws in this land or whatever. So the idea is demons invade. Lord British is like, okay, I have to cast this spell to split the land into two parts because Lord British wants his way. I want my way. And we'll, we'll split it like that. You see, oh, hey, this is, uh, this is the guy who stole the uh, plague. All right, uh, I don't actually care about you right now. So, that's the backstory. The important part is that at a certain time, on in local time, every um, every region of the game, at a certain time, local time, is going to be invaded by demons, and this is like an actual. This isn't really scripted. This is just like spawn like 50 million demons and then like have them kill everything and everybody. And then eventually they'll reach uh, Britain, Lord British, and then and then Lord British will cast a spell. And uh, and then and then that'll that's been will do the server reset and then split the, uh, the game into two halves. So the players heard about this and they're like, well, what if we just fight the demons? What if we, like, don't let them reach, you know, Castle Britain? And so what happens is this starts out in America, in the U.S. Uh, servers, and works its way westward around the world as, as, as time changes, right? So the Americans, what they do is you get a bunch of high-level people and... You know, the, the, the strongest people on the server and be like, OK, we're going to do this. We can take this. We can kill these demons. We're strong. Right. And they get absolutely slaughtered. They get they, they get the, <laughs> the floor wiped with them because they didn't, they didn't coordinate. Uh, they didn't. Um, the, basically, all these like lone wolves were like, I can take this. And they couldn't. And absolutely slaughtered. The demons make their way to Castle Britain. The realm splits into two. Everything goes like it should. Well, uh. At some point uh, after this, the uh, the event hits Japan, 
and the Japanese players were watching what happens to the U.S. players, and they're like, okay, uh, this is going to be really hard. What we need to do is we need to get our highest level players on the front lines fighting this as a united force, and then we get the lower level players as like a supply line because their weapons are going to degrade. They're going to need potions and stuff. So we need crafters crafting new potions, making new armor, making new weapons. And, uh, and hold off this, 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 this horrible army. And here's the thing. It, it, it actually works. They saw what didn't work in the U S they worked together as a team and they fucking held off this army for like, I think like a couple of days for an event that's supposed to last like a couple of hours until eventually origin is like uh we didn't actually expect this we have to shut it down regardless i we're sorry guys it was you you fought really bravely but you weren't actually supposed to win so <laughs> they had to shut down the server regardless to reset it and then later on it hits uh the uk and at this point, like, Japan is still fighting, but the UK is like, well, we know it's supposed to happen. We know we could fight it, but it wouldn't really matter. So everyone just kind of went to their houses and, like, drank coffee and had a stiff upper lip as the fucking demons invaded and destroyed the world. That's beautiful. But it's, it's, it's such a funny story because it, it kind of shows how every region has its own type of player and uh, how they reacted to what was supposed to be a hopeless situation. Okay. You know what? Maybe that little island there. Because <laughs> I've gone to every house here. So, like I said, this is a... Uh, like, like, everyone here is a fighter. And every day around noon or so, they all come out and train, which is what was going on just now. But uh, I guess now I actually go to have to go find them and talk to them. You, you look interesting. You see a very <laughs> serious young man. He carries himself like a learned and mannered gentleman. Timmins! Timmins! It's... Guys, it's Timmins! Timmins is my name, my lord. At the moment, I have no job. I left all that behind in New Bajincia. I have come to Jalome to study under Master De Snell in the Library of Scars. Cool. A sailor of a ship at Port Numagentia first told me the library of scars of how it was the greatest fighting guild in Britannia and how its trainer, Master De Snell, okay, that's who I need to talk to, had created the perfect fighting style. I immediately spent every coin I had to come here, but De Snell now refuses to accept the student. I know if I cannot defeat a fighter who claims to be better than anyone in the guild and help restore its honor in the process, De Snell will have to finally accept me. It was a pleasure speaking to thee, my lord. Timmins away! <laughs> uh, oh, you look important. No, that's not it's Joseph. Okay, you're the mayor, not the... I don't know where I'm going. Okay, this looks big. This looks... Either this or the... Looks like maybe the Library of Scars. Oh, I didn't actually go in here. Where's the door? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. You. Though he does not seem hostile, the man greets you in a fighting stance. I am called Master Snell. A man once called me Master to Smell. I cut off his nose. It's funny. <laughs> I operate the famous fighting school here in Jalom, the Library of Scars. I also train fighters personally from time to time if they show potential. Do I have potential, Daddy? I teach a fighting style of mine own invention. It enables one to gain complete mastery over his opponent. I could arrange a little demonstration for thee. Yeah? I must apologize for the discourtesy, but mine unquailed talents demand that I charge thee 40 gold for a training demonstration. Yeah, okay. Which of you wishes to train? Uh, Sparks got the most potential. You pay for gold and the training session begins. A session, which consists of various techniques involving sleight of hand and strike feints, takes a fairly short amount of time. The snail straightens suddenly and sheathes his blood. That is all for now. If thou dost wish more training, thou couldst most assuredly benefit from mine experience. He looks spark up and down insolently. Thou seemest to be an 
apt pupil. Thou mayest return at a later time and advance thy training. Uh, so, okay, I don't... You know what, I'll, I'll try it with me, because that'll, that'll give me more hit points. Uh, demonstration... Da, 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 yes. Me! Thou wast already close and skilled to me. Thou hast peaked in thine own potential. Okay, it doesn't then. Alright, in that case... Uh, how about Iolo? Pay 40 gold. Okay, demonstration... Yes. Uh, century. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's one hundred twenty. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, that's all we can train right now. Cool. Bye. May thy stay in Jalom be a memorable one. Okay. Let's get so, your stats. Yes, yeah, let's. Uh, okay. Yeah. So mine hasn't changed. Spark. Uh, I didn't check his. I think his, his dexterity is a lot higher now. I guess that's good. I think his combat's the same. I, I guess this training increases your dexterity. Oh, Dupre's the strongest of us all. Well, that's all I wanted to go here for. I mean, it makes sense. He is a paladin. Uh, the provisioner shop is to your left. Oh, the, yeah. The, the one with the two uh, arrow targets in front of it. Let's see. Oh, oh we gained gold somehow. How'd that happen? I was a pretty damn good soldier. Uh, he only sells armor and weapons. Thing. Actually. Yeah, I don't want to spend money on armor I can find. We can always take his mangled corpse back to Lord British. Something like that. Okay, so Trinsic is right here, so this mountain range must be the start. In the old days, uh... Every town had its associated virtue, and it also had its associated dungeon of the anti-virtue. And Distard was one of those. And they used to be big, mean, gnarly 3D first-person view dungeons. But in this game, they're just kind of a series of caves. I can't believe I landed here, that was crazy. Oh, that must be it right here. Oh, no, stop. Here we go. Yes. All right. Okay, uh, carpet is... Oh. Oh, oh, it's this asshole. All right, I really don't want to... No, we're not talking to you. Nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry? We're getting damaged somehow. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, did you just walk in the desert? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So this is the unicorn. Uh, there's some quests involved with this, but I don't really care because it's a long and convoluted. So, so basically, you know, unicorns are virgin detectors and there's some weird lore about how the avatar, every time he goes to Britannia, his virginity is restored. I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're like the only one who can talk to him. Well, aside from Spark, I guess, but... Um... Yeah, so there's like a, an invisible field here of some sort. And... I don't think that's actually a trap. 
I actually, uh, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Everyone kind of got, uh, beat up, and I only have three casts of heal left. Did you say before you walked in here? You know what? Oh, we're gonna, let's, let's do the, let's do the shortcut. Uh, oh, oh! Well, that hurt. This might be like a protection spell, so let's find out. It's not killing me, and white looks normal, so let's just, there we go. Hold your breath. I've heard a little less, so that's good. Yeah, so uh, as you can see in the upper corner there, uh, the dungeon destered is full of dragons. Teleporting dragons. Teleporting dragons. Sleepy dragons. Headless. No, you can't find the dragon through the wall. Oh my god, what a... I, I never... Do, is that normal? They just, like, disappear into fireworks. I mean, most dragons I know tend to explode, but... <laughs> really? Yeah. I think I'm hitting invisible traps again. Looked. Unlocked. I have the magic key. Hey, arrows. Uh, not you. Century. Guess what? No, he uses bolts. This All guy's got right. a bow, though. Let's put away your little toys and equip your little bow. And you can equip your arrows. Oh, there you go. Oh, what's this? A ring of invisibility. Perfect for the archers. Mm. That is perfect for the archers. Are you wearing... What are you wearing? Are you wearing gloves? Yeah, you're wearing gloves. Oops. <laughs> that was cold, not a ring. Ding. Okay. Well, if I keep this up, my entire party will be invisible. That'll be great. That'll save you on some video memory. Yeah. Only. Did you take his pants? Uh. Why do these guys keep responding? I feel like the enemies shouldn't respond. I feel like that's a not a thing that's supposed to happen. Uh, you know, I did take his pants. Century. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Okay, I'm serious. Like, I, I feel like enemies shouldn't respond. I don't shouldn't think there that's be a, a exult setting? It might be. Uh, is there something in here? Gameplay options, paper doll, smooth scrolling, which is bad. It's horrible. I tried it. It's not good. Cheats enabled, gums pause game enabled, right click path finds, right click closes gums, double click closes gums. Nope. Hmm, nope. Miscellaneous options? Scroll game view, skip. Oh, hey, skip intro, yes. Skip scripted first scene, alternate drag and drop, allow auto notes. Hey! Wow, that'd be useful. Yeah, no, I'd rather keep my own. Shortcut bar. Hide missing items, use outline color. Original space pauses. I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay, that's that's combat. Oh, these are just the shortcut keys that I'm already using. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it up there anyway. What is going on with these dragons? One of these walls must be illusory. I can't walk fast because I'm apparently being attacked. When do you turn combat on? Uh, it's off right now. That's on and off. It changes the color of the, the oh. thing. 
But I, I think a dragon aggroed on me, and now he's, uh... I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's invisible. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yow! Uh, you know, there might actually just be another entrance to this dungeon. If I can get out of here without dying. Oh my god, really? Where did you come from? Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. It just doesn't have a corpse box. Okay, we're gonna have to walk a little quicker than this if we want to make it past the death barrier, guys. Is there anything here? All right, I'm gonna cast heal once on Spark so he doesn't die. So yeah, there's there's this there's this <laughs> unicorn talks forever. I was uh, I was actually I've been reading a let's play of this game, which is how I like know this stuff without having to remember it. But he goes on and on and on about how like oh a thousand years ago a mage summoned our kind to to help him with some minor task, and the leader of our of our tribe thought it'd be fun to go after some fillies instead. So then the the mage cursed us with a thousand years of of um incontinence or something and and made us kill all the females of our kind and and it's horrible and it's depressing and oh hey that might be it here this need not be on are there fellowship members in there love will show the way uh hey i ain't way now no, don't, no. Oh, that's the tiniest wolf I've ever seen. It's so little. Uh, to answer your question, yes. Uh, what question? Fellowship members. Oh. Do not go in. It is a trap. Do you not see? <laughs> it is a trap. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, two dudes and a gargoyle. All of destruction does not fuck around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten legs of deer. Also, we're all beat to shit, so I'm gonna take a nap real quick. Well, you know, let's just everybody have a have a really big meal, and then we'll just all sleep, or rather, I'll sleep, and you can all watch me. <laughs> eh, it doesn't matter if it's night. Yeah, left and down are people. Oh, cool. Hello, friends. The wide-eyed expression of this youth seems to indicate his naivete. I I'm Cosmo, my lord, betrothed of Ophelia. I am uh, searching for something, my lord. She is the most beautiful woman in all Britannia. I still find it hard to believe she has agreed to marry me, a lowly warrior. I will travel to the ends of the world for her, if that be necessary, to keep her heart. What are you looking for? W well, my lord, tis a bit of a personal matter. <laughs> what he is searching for, my lord, is his virginity. <laughs> okay, this is the quest. All right, I do not care. Is that, that is not true. He, bl You know... 
You know, funnily enough, there is somebody who's based on Wrecker in this game, but this isn't Oh, him. yeah, I know. <laughs> but he looks a lot closer than the other guy. I I'm looking for a way to prove my virginity. Uh, I, I, I don't care. Good, good day, my lord. If thou dost see the unicorn, tell it to wait for me. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> Oh, the map actually flat out says what's in here. Well, that's, that's cool. Good. All right. There's no teleporter there or anything. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, there, there is a... Uh, I forget where it is. It's like in Serpent's Hold or something. Uh, an entire group of people based off the, uh, the cast of uh, The Next Generation. Yep. What's this? Empress. And I didn't even get it when I was reading the... Uh, the, the let's play it's like oh it's weird that that guy is blind and has a really obvious blindfold on i wonder why that is oh his name is jordan that's weird oh wait a minute okay here's the chest we're looking for there's a corpse it's always a good sign buddy oh what's this Ooh, potions i could really use that sack and i could actually really use those potions Okay, you know what? All right, what is this? All right, this is this is from that quest of love. Okay, I I don't really care about that anymore. This okay, this is about this is the same thing. Oh, this page is smudged with dirt here. Yeah, I I know. Okay, okay, all right. So this fucking inventory system. All right, we don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we need to move these reagents over. Okay. Three black pearls. I mean, five pearls that I almost can't see. I assume I have black pearls in here somewhere. Yeah. And you know what? I'll just put the potions in here too. Yeah, it's just, yeah, here we go. Now this can be used for gold. Now I see there are some other sacks up there too, which will be very useful. Actually, yes, I do need another sack for the avatars so uh, that I can steal those other things. And what's this? Dagger? You don't need a dagger. A sling? You might need a sling. Your father's fellowship medallion? Eh, whatever. I'm sure it's not important. Take the sack, take the sack. You left it in the chest. Did I, did I really? Hey, what's this? A ring of... Another one? Oh my god, I've got so many of these. Well, fuck, you know, we'll just make this little fucker the, the greatest uh, warrior this was ever known. Yeah. But okay, seriously, uh, you left it in yeah, the chest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> Dealing with this inventory is a lot of work. Okay. Won't fit? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, what else we got here? Alright, th right, that's more stuff I don't care about. Alright, this is Observations of Black Rock, which I don't care about. This wand is extremely important. We cannot let that go anywhere. How is this still not fitting? Oh my god, this, I do not get this inventory system at all. Okay, uh, that's important. I need a sextant to know where I am. I have a billion keys that I all need. Uh, why can't I put them in here? Okay, uh, Shimmy, you want to be our key guy? Okay, you can put that there, and then... Wait, it has wait, it has gold in it? Wait a minute. Yeah, I thought... you you just put all the gold in there. You oh. just did it just now. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. That's why it won't fit because there's gold in it. All right. So this one's empty. So if I move this one, won't fit. Oh! Okay. So <laughs> put that in there. Open it. Put every key that I own, including the skeleton key in here, and I think Iolo has a key too, 
This is a lot easier in Serpent Island when you get a key ring and it all automatically gets added to the key ring. It's that's evidence. I need that over here, I think. Okay. Key, key, key. Is this a key? Oh, it's gargoyle jewelry. Whatever. Lock picks. I need that here. Okay, is that a black pearl? That's a backpack. Is that a, that's a backpack? Orb of the moons. That's incredibly important. <laughs> Don't need this toss. <laughs> uh. Okay. Will this fit? Will this fit? Mm. Okay. Okay. Um. You can just hang on to that. I apparently don't know how anything works. Okay. Amina has the keys. I think the shortcut works anyway. Let's hit Control S so we don't have to do that again. All right. What's in the chest? Oh. <gasps> There's two medallions, but no money. That's not important. Uh, hello? Hello? I know it's not actually abandoned. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, these guys are right jolly fuckers to deal with, I think. So let's just... Oh. Well, they can go invisible. First by an offspring. Ow. What are those two doing up there? Avoiding combat. Yeah, two of you guys are just humping the wall. Control R. I gotta go through this first. I already tried that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's not deal with that. Ways to deal with this could involve stuffing a sleep potion in the throat. But... I don't know what black potions do. Yellows are healing. Sleep is blue. Uh, if we had a dirty diaper and we could see it, we could chase it away, but I accidentally used it on the nurser, or the, uh, the nurse in the nursery. So uh, we're just going to look at this box and make sure we actually looked at the box because I don't remember if I did in this timeline or not. And then uh, GTFO. Beep, 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 Look out below. Wait, I didn't actually want to go here. Uh... <laughs> yeah. This looks like the bullshit hole. Okay. Ratlin, where are you? Probably at home oh. asleep. He's right here. No, he's, in, he's in bed. <laughs> I got, I guess I was partly right. Can I sleep with him? That'd Avatar, please restrain thyself. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if the guard stops from doing this. Yes, my friend, rest and heal so that you are strong and able to face the perils before you. Pleasant. Dream. Wow, I have the voice. Oh, my king back. My dear, dear friend, how wonderful to see thee again. 
Uh, chest. Ah, yes, thou hast returned from Dungeon Destan. But wait! I do not see the fellowship funds that thou hast... that thou wast to bring back. What has happened? How can you tell? Uh, high wind, monsters, pirates, ship sunk. Wait, can I just lie to him? Yeah, probably, but it was monsters. I, I guess technically. I didn't actually find anything in this timeline, but okay. Monsters! There are monsters looking in Dungeon Destard? Well, then I do apologize for thine inconvenience. Oh, I guess I can join now. Well, thou didst certainly attempt to complete the quest. I cannot understand why the chest in Destard is empty, but we shall forget it, shall we? Now that thou hast worked a little for the Fellowship, and thou hast learned what we stand for, dost thou still wish to join? <laughs> yeah. Then thou art most welcome to the Fellowship. Thou wilt officially be inducted during our nightly meeting this evening. Please come, and thou shalt receive thy medallion then. Once again, we thank the Avatar. Yeah, it, it, it occurs to me. What if... I put my sack inside of a sack. Nope, okay. What if I put that sack inside this sack? Mm. Yeah. In that case, I think the way it works... Oh, that's right! Okay, so we have backpacks right now, but that's like, like low tier. I think you could actually have like an actual crate on your back and that'll hold more and then you can hold a backpack inside of that and then you can hold bags inside of that so I think it, it, it's like a descending tier list of how that works all right maybe so, you need a final provisioner um yeah sure okay uh let's see I was going to go up to uh, Castle Britain and see what time it was so I could sleep until our induction. But that can wait. Alright, uh, pause carry provision. Uh, go down the... Um... Where are you? In front of the Fellowship Hall. Fellowship Hall. Go to that... No. Go south on the right side. Okay. I, I just noticed my my invisible friends are visible once again. Does this only last so long? Get out of the yeah, text. Go away. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a ring of regeneration. <laughs> Get out of my <laughs> face. All right. So it's yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, south here. Uh, keep going. The middle of this building. Middle door oh. here. Uh, on your right. Oh. On I mean, on your left. On your left. You passed it. Oh. Oh. What this? Up one. Oh. One of these is the Provisioner. Let's see, that's the healer. It must be one of these ones on the top. Wait a minute. Locked. <laughs> is that? Yes, it's cheese. Okay. I don't know if this is stealing or not, but... Uh... Let's try something. <laughs> I don't care about your flaming oil. And there we go. So now, Shimino. There we go. Now this does kind of put me dangerously close to my encumbrance limit but if I ever manage to finish the test of courage that won't be an issue anymore 
Okay. Now... Okay, what torches? Dupre, you're the strongest of them all. You have a foaming beer in your pack. How long has that been there? Oh, it's a bo bottle? That's a bottle? No, it's a stein. That's not a bottle at all. I'm sorry, old friend, but... Okay, you need to put this down. Put this here. And put that back in there. There we go. And yeah, even carrying nothing, that raises his encumbrance because crates are heavy. But ironically, that makes it carry more, so whatever. All right, who is hungry? Boop, boop. I just fed Spark. There we go. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Oh, there goes Sherry. She's the best. Uh, damn it. Oh, it does oh, tell me. Okay, good. I was gonna say. A, I, oh, do you have a watch? It's you can get a watch. Uh, from a provisioner, perhaps. Uh, maybe. But the W key would have shown you time if you had a watch. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I was afraid that wouldn't even tell me the time because it's cloudy, but... Uh, back down we go. You can get it from Shimino. It's a... Uh, really? According to this. Well, he doesn't have one on him. Maybe a, uh, it may be a Serpent Island thing? That could be. Which one of you is Shimino? Yes. Uh, accomplishing. Problem with the Moon Gates. I'm concerned about their inability to function. Yeah, okay. Let's tell me. Oh yeah, he's the trainer. That's a clothier, that's a bakery. Oh, oh okay, I guy smelling swamp is, so he must be the provisioner. I see all those bows. Up one. I'm just looking. What is this? There's an armor oh, like there. He's, he's, like he's a, cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> Clothier. What do you actually sell? Who's kitty leather boots, tunic dress, pants, and swap boots? Oh, that's all you sell. Okay. Maybe the jeweler has a watch. Ooh, maybe. See a man whose boyish fate is set with scrutinizing eyes that look as if they have seen much. My name is Sean. When not tending to fellowship affairs, I'm a jeweler here in Britain. Bye. Wouldst thou like to buy something? Unk, wedding ring, gold ring, gem, nothing. Fine. So I think you can sell gems to this guy, which uh, dragons drop when you kill him. Okay, so I'm going to sleep for 10 hours. And hopefully that's long enough. Hast thou noticed that this bed is occupied? No.
Wakey, wakey. Hey, quickly run. I may have overslept. What did you have for Dindins? Oh, me. Um, a burger. Burger. The ceremony begins as Batlin stands before the gathered members of the Fellowship in Britain. You know, I thought I'd turn notifications off, but oh well. My friends, I originally created the Fellowship to help ready Britannia and its people for the future. Today, one of the greatest symbols of its past has come to join the Fellowship. This is a great day for our past and present. Uh, intertwine, and she'll send a message which shall be heard throughout Britannia. Soon all its peoples will strive together for unity. The gathering breaks into loud cheers. When they hear that the Avatar has become a member of the Fellowship, those who are at first distrustful of us will come to see the truth of what we stand for. And we may bring about a day when all Britannia is worthy of the ample rewards it shall receive. <clears throat> Yola whispers to you, Art thou quite certain, ZC, that thou dost wish to join in with these people? Yes. I am not certain if thou art brave or simply foolish. Now is the time... I, I turned... Oh my god, fucking windows. Now is the time when our members give their testimonials to how they have been applying the triad of inner strength to their lives. Who shall be the first? Well, the Fellowship has taught me to live with the shortcomings of others, says Gay. <laughs> I had lost all enthusiasm for life before I joined the Fellowship, says Candace. Thank thee for sharing, Candace. The Fellowship helps me to be more honest with people, says Patterson. The Fellowship has taught me not to let others push me around, says Fig. The Triad of Inner Strength has helped me to improve my skills and build better weapons, says Grayson. The Fellowship has put me back on the path to prosperity, says Gordon. Yes, thank thee for sharing, brother. The Fellowship has taught me not to be afraid of success, says Sean. The Fellowship has given me my life a whole new purpose. Just today I've recruited two more potential members, says Millie. That's all she does. The Fellowship has taught me about the evils of the class structure, says Nana. You know, Yellow is whispering to Shimino. I don't think ZC doth realize the significance of the situation. My lord could not be dissuaded. Perhaps thou wouldst give it a try? All right, I'll give it a try. He nudges you and whispers, Perhaps we should get out of here, my lord, before one of us does something they may later regret. Let us leave these premises, all right? Uh, no. Well, I guess it's too late for our regret covered here. Now is the time to welcome the newest members of the Fellowship to sit at our table. Batlin beckons you to join him at the podium. He pours a glass of wine into a crystal goblet and takes a sip. The goblet is passed around the hall, each member respectfully taking a sip. Finally, the goblet is handed to you. You look at it thoughtfully as you feel all the eyes in the room upon you. You hear Shamino desperately whispering to Dupre as they stand behind you. Uh, Dupre, we are having no success in showing the Avatar the mistake he must surely be making. Thou art our last hope. You feel a tapping on your shoulder and you see you turn to see Dupre as he whispers to your ear. I know a much better place to get a drink than this one. Perhaps thou wouldst like to join thy comrades there? No. But I hope this game amuses thee, for it makes thy comrades surely worried. Now there remains but one more test of thy loyalty to the Fellowship. I presume thou hast read the Book of Fellowship. Oh, God damn it! I must ask you two questions. The answers may be found within the book. Batlin smiles modestly. I am the author. Didst thou know? Well, never mind. Here we go. It's copy protection. According to the Book of Archaic Knowledge, how many times must Jinxing be reboiled in order for it to be properly used as a mag magical reagent? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get. Hang on. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> hang, hang on. Avatar's just standing here like uh <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just on his phone. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Oh come on, Ultima Codex, load faster. No, come on, there we go. Alright, Batlin's questions. Uh it must be reboiled 40 times. That seems a, like a lot. 
Mm. It's more water now than man. <laughs> Twisted and garlicky. How many runes are there in the archaic script of the outdated Britannian language? Uh, it's like 20. F no, wait. 28? Uh, oh, 31. Ooh. I almost said it right. What do you mean outdated? What are you using that's not runes? Excellent avatar! Finding a tremble of hesitation, you take a long, deep drink from the goblets and open up chat again. <clears throat> May the news spread far and wide that our newest member is none other than the avatar. The other fellowship members cheer with pleasure. Allow me to present thee with the fellowship medallion. Batlin gives you the medallion. Please wear the medallion at all times, for it shall be a symbol to all who see it, that thou dost walk with the fellowship. Ready it to thy neck immediately. Oh, and welcome to the fellowship, Avatar. Hey guys. What's going on? He's just kind of sitting. Does it speak for me? Here we go. Well, it is perceives reward. Yes. Guys, I, I can't see. You gotta sit down. Go away. Guys, I am worthy. Guys, settle down. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just, they just find random seats to sit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, like I can almost see the algorithm like struggling to find, to work. Yeah, look, it just finds like the nearest seat and they all sit down. That's amazing. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Hey, come on, guys. Uh, shit, what are we doing now? Let's see. Carpet. Okay. I'm going to record this. Investigate murders. We did that. Completed love of truth. We guess we got to do courage, but I don't think we're ready for that. Uh, oh, yeah. We got to visit the moon dude, Moonglow. And we got to go to Empath Abbey. Let's go to Moonglow. Let's sleep so it's not dark. I think it's like nine o'clock. So no, 10 hours, I guess. Yeah. There's, oh, there's people everywhere. Oh, are you guys just now leaving? Did, did you do the thing like in the Elder Scrolls games where like if you wait too long, like outside it'll it'll break their uh <laughs> it'll break where they're supposed to be and they all scramble to where they're supposed to be in their script that's cool they never fix that all right there you go there you go i still don't like that you're visible where are you headed now uh moonglow which is i believe that might be New Magencia. This might be Moonglow. Uh, I'll figure it out. Any room only. <laughs> I think this is Buccaneer's Den. Ooh, I wonder if we can do the thing. I wonder if we can make an apocalyptic amount of money in the most real sense of the word. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Why is this game so janky? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Okay, you know what? I think I actually might call it early just because I have a feeling this is going to keep happening and I need to figure out why it's happening. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, uh let me uh let me switch us out to the uh, end screen. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's fine. But hey, thanks everyone for coming over, hanging out. Glad to share this stuff with you. 
Uh, special thanks to our subscribers scrolling on screen right now. Couldn't do what we do without your support. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please give us a follow uh, here on Twitch and on Twitter at Team Retrofox. Check out our YouTube link down below for our past playthroughs. Uh, consider that Patreon down there or subscription here. Both help us out a lot. Uh, a reminder that it, when we hit 300 subscribers, uh, not subscribers, 300 followers, uh, Zombie will be uh, playing Super Mario Sunshine with crowd control on. Yeah. And we'd like to end things here with a raid. Let's see who's on. Oh, is Jerma still playing Wobble Dogs? Yes. Guys, Wobble Dogs. Okay, I'm not saying we should raid Jerma. I'm just saying Wobble Dogs. Guys, Wobble Dogs. Uh. Hmm. Let's just pop in on, uh. Oh, they just vanished. Oh, there we go. Retro, Ra Rachel Retro. Ooh. That's a wobble dog. We'll see you tomorrow with more AD&D Pool of Radiance. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. Take care, guys.